So here I have four skeins of Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn and it has been rolled up into eight hanks. So it's, uh, they're 100 grams each. And I am going to be doing four at a time. And I'm going to do full immersion the first time. Uh, the second time I'm going to attempt speckling. But I have 1% uh, blue and red already mixed up. I did that off camera. So this has been soaking overnight in a saline. Um, I use I used um, canning salt because there's no iodine added. There's no um, it's more natural. It's all natural. It's more natural than uh, table salt. Um, I would say for I don't even know how much water this bucket holds, but I would say that I probably used a about an eighth of a cup. Not a whole lot, but um, as you can see, the water is barely got a lot stuffed in there. But this has been soaking overnight in salt water because I read somewhere that it helps the colors to strike better. Um, I will probably wind up adding some vinegar to the dye bath as well, just to see what happens. So, yeah, we're going to reach in here. We're going to grab four. I'm going to wring them out because Grandma. I'm going to be using Grandma. Grandma. I'm going to be using four. Swift. I need to get a drafter. But um, this is 100% acrylic. And I've searched YouTube for videos on dyeing acrylic with. Yes, I did not clarify. I, I am using. Jacquard basic dyes because I've been reading up that basic dye will dye pretty much anything including synthetic fibers like acrylic so we'll find out today as you guys know I've tried um, acrylic paint which does pretty good pretty good um, I've used Rit Dye More, which um, is kind of muted, but it, it does dye it. But I'm looking for something vibrant, if possible. May not be possible, I don't know. But we're going to arrange this in a very weird fashion. And add some water. going to add to this bottle, at least opened it, um, about a fourth of a cup of vinegar. It seems like a lot. It might be, um, but with vinegar you need a little bit more than if you were using citric acid. So that might be just maybe a 
third. It's probably a third of a cup. Let me add some water to it. Swirl it a little bit. Add some more. Now for this, I want to do a full immersion, so I'm going to have to add right much water. Okay, now I will um, get some gloves on and start with the dye. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm showing up on there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn the burners on as well. Let that start heating up. In fact, I'll just come back once I get a little bit of the water starting to be warm. Oh, are we recording? I think we are. Yeah. Okay, so look at this. Isn't this great? I'm waiting for this to heat up. I start shaking the bottle and it goes everywhere. I've cleaned up the floor, tried to clean up the countertop. Interesting. So maybe it wasn't better to get the cheaper bottles on Amazon. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I wasn't prepared for that, needless to say. Put my glove back on and, uh, wow. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, I guess I'm ready, huh? <laughs> I wanted it to get a little bit, like over here, it was still kind of cold. I had to scoot it over to try to balance it out on the over the heat. Huh. So let's just jump right in, I guess. It's still heating up, but it's warm. And I don't want it to be too hot, but I think I want it just a tad hotter. I've never done full immersion acrylic, so um, goodness. I'm just going to pretend that's not there. <laughs> It'll be just a little variation. <laughs> I'm just standing here, just, just shaking and watching TV. And, you know, I'll look down and there's dots everywhere. Uh, probably should have tried it with water first. Okay, so, um, what I was thinking about doing is doing, since it's laying in a weird way, I couldn't get them lengthwise. I probably could have if I'd have just let them, which I might do that from now on because all of my hanks are going to be this length. It's just kind of let them, you know, come in on each other a little bit. Um, it doesn't have to be stretched out. I'm not picky about that. But what I wanted to do was have a section of red and a section of blue and then maybe possibly have them overlap with some purple. But since I have them Lay in all weird ways. I'm just going to pick a weird pattern to color it and then try to get the uh, purple to merge in the middle. So um, I think I'm done messing with it because once, once I put the dye in, I'm going to leave it alone because I don't want, I don't want it stirred. I don't want it mixing. I don't even want it, um, solid you know I, I want variations that's what we're going for so yeah actually that feels like a good temperature there not quite at a simmer but we are steaming so let's let's go for it It's always good to have a cleaning rag or paper towels, but either one. <laughs> I'm afraid to shake this one. It's gonna happen. And I held I held my finger over the tip really tightly. Who knows? Yep. See, there it goes. Interesting. <laughs> And I'm sure having it laying in the pan like this 
we'll give it a very unique, give each tank a unique um, color pattern. planning on diluting the red for the next for the next project but if I have to make more that's not a big deal so I, I we're going for vibrance I mean what we've done the you know the other options acrylic paints and dye more and without melting the yarn we can't really get any vibrant colors to it so if we can get some vibrant Okay, I really, really, really hope I got that on video because I need to turn off notifications. Oh, goodness. A notification came up. I mean, an alarm came up, actually. And I checked my camera and it's muted. Let me get a picture while I'm looking. All right, so we will come back in one hour. Okay, so I went back and watched the video, and the only thing that really cut off was the time. It was 11.59. I had said, okay, I'm going to let this simmer or steam. It's not simmer. I'm let this steam for an hour, and I said that I wasn't expecting it to absorb all of the dye. However, however, I uh, could be wrong. Oh my gosh, that would be phenomenal. I can actually see down through there. Okay, I'm not going to get my hopes up. <laughs> but what I had said, what got cut off was I wasn't expecting it to absorb the dye. We'll let it sit for an hour. I'll come back at 1 o'clock. Oh my gosh. I was sitting at the table watching this video. Watching my video. And, um, oh my gosh. I'm tempted. Well... I don't have a dedicated spoon. Let me see if I can. Okay. I am so tempted. I can't help it. Okay. Okay. It's, but hey, you know what? That's, that's kind of light. Come over there. Let me see. I don't expect the blue to be. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm going to leave it alone. Leave it alone. <laughs> but I swear. Oh, right there. I swear that is like, I can see down in there. <laughs> Look at that purple right there. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's going to do what it wants to do, right? So, let the purple be where the purple wants to be. Yep. Okay, I'm going to leave it alone now. We'll be back. Well, unless something happens before then, most likely 1 o'clock. So here we are, 51 minutes in, and it looks like we've got some mauve <laughs> or burgundy right there. Um, got a little bit of a simmer going on there. Um, I did turn the front burner down a little, but I don't think, I think that'll be okay. Um, oh, let's do the spoon test see what we got like i said i don't expect it to uh oh that's definitely way lighter though look at that look how light oh my goodness that's oh sorry look at that a little bit there all right let's see what this area looks i'm pretty sure that's gonna yeah like i said i don't expect it to soak it up oh it's real dark uh, what about back here Um, I'm going to let it finish the rest of the uh, other eight minutes here. And then I'll turn it off, let it cool. Now, usually, after I do the dyeing of the acrylic yarn, I let it dry before I rinse it. And that usually helps it to retain the color better versus 
washing it right away. Um, but I'm going to treat this like it's a natural fiber and just let it cool, rinse it, see what happens. And one more thing. It's only a minute past. I'm <laughs> sitting stand here staring at it. I just wanted to, uh, wanted to take a peek just to get an idea of what it looks like underneath. Yeah, it's almost like a raspberry. Interesting. What's it look like over here? And since I'm getting ready to take it out, look how dark. See, that tells me. Ooh. Oh, wow. What's that doing in there? I'm just being way too nosy. But look at that dark spot right there where, that, where it's bubbling. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. That would make me wonder if heat, um, the amount of heat, determines the saturation of the color. Hmm. Perhaps. Alrighty, so we got an hour now. Let's turn it off. And something else I noticed while staring at it the last three minutes. Look, like through here how it's almost like a purplish blue and then back here it's a brighter blue how cool is that and that spot right there that's going to tell me a lot like heat intensifies the in, um, hotter higher heat intensifies the, the density of the color if that stays like that but okay we're off now and we're going to cool. I'll be back when it's time to rinse. Okay, it's been uh, just a little over a half an hour. Still steaming a little bit. Just ever so slightly, but it's mostly cool. I mean, I can, I can touch it comfortably. I mean, it's a little hotter back here, but I'll just grab this end. But, um, Oh, <laughs> and by the way, or at least on this end, look at that. <laughs> um, a little, little bit more pink on that end, and then down here it's still quite much blue, but it's still kind of light. So let's see. Get these out of here and. Oh, that's, yeah, still kind of hot down there. Get these in the rinse tub. Rinse it out and see what we've got. Okay. I haven't done a thing to it yet. Let me, uh, still a little bit warm. I'm kind of almost afraid. Of course, I can't really shock acrylic. Um, but I almost feel like I should let this sit for just a minute. Because this, this is pretty hot right here. So, yeah, let me, uh, let me just come back to this. I'm not going to do anything with that right now. I'll be right back. I will wait about uh, maybe 10 minutes. I'll, I'll mess with it a little bit. Try to get it cool off quicker. Okay. Now we're back. Yes. I've got a little bit of a mess here. I need another cleaning rag. Let's see. This must have been some powder. Perhaps, but okay. I rinsed them out. I not rinsed them out. I'm sorry. I wrung them out, and that helped it to cool significantly. I've decided I'm going to rinse them individually. The other two are in the tub. So here's a moment of truth. Um, let me actually start with warm. Oh goodness, I had it. I'm going to start with warm water. Let's get started. I'll worry about the, but yeah, 
moment of truth. See, there's the water he said. Oh, good, that does come off. That's good. I mean, this sink is needs replacing anyway, so that's why I'm rinsing it in here. <laughs> but it looks like it's going to wash off. Magic eraser will probably bring it off anyways. All right, there's warm. Keep it warm. All righty. Now let's see what happens. You know what? <laughs> okay, we got some blue bleeding. We got some blue. Some bleeding. Some. And my watch thinks I'm washing my hands. That's funny. Look at that. Oh my goodness. But I have a feeling that it's probably going to take a lot of rinsing to get the water to run clear. But from the looks of it, it looks like we're only getting the blue. Look at the burgundy. The red actually looks like a burgundy. That is really neat. You know what, guys? I think basic dyes is probably the way to go if you want to dye acrylic yarn. Well, they say basic dyes will dye wood, plastic, I mean, like paper. <laughs> but what I'm going to do, um, I don't have any of those fancy cleansers, any central pour, any the eucalyptus stuff. So I'm going to rinse off the other two and I'm just going to let them soak in some mild dish soap. See if that helps clean them up a little bit. So I will be right back. Okay, I've got them soaking for a little bit. I'm going to let them soak for about maybe five minutes and uh, come back and rinse with cold water. Okay, I'm back. It's been about five minutes. Um, of course, it was bleeding. Expected. Let's, uh, let's dump this out. And cold water. So I ran out of storage space and my video stopped when I was rinsing. Um, but basically what I did was I did another rinse and then I ran, um, put a little bit of fabric softer in here, maybe a, a teaspoon, a tablespoon around right there and ran more water, put this in and, um, it's been soaking in the fabric softener 
maybe five minutes. I'll probably give it another five. And, um, but yeah, there's a tiny, tiny bit of blading, tiny bit. I mean, you get more blading out of several washes of a new pair of jeans than you do this. So it's just fair, very, very light, barely noticeable. So I'm gonna let this soak for another five minutes and then we will hang it up to dry. So here is the final result, and these are gorgeous. I am absolutely, totally shocked, amazed, pleased. It's phenomenal, and there is no damage. <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, excuse me. <laughs> it's like, it's almost a softer, <laughs> if that's even possible. It's like it's softer than it was. And I love Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn because it's so soft. Grandma. Grandma. Thank you, sweet pea. Mm -hmm. Yep, she loves it too. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, basic dyes soft. work. It's soft, isn't it? So soft. So, these three will be on my Etsy shop. Mommy. So, Gaga. wow, yes, I will definitely be making more of this. Just simply 1% dye stock, red and blue. Yeah. And it, it winds up being blue, variegated, and like a burgundy. Patriotic, just in time for 4th of July. So, if you're interested in buying these, head on over. Thank you for watching.